Okay, so I normally would start my video pouring my beverage. However, I'm drinking boxed wine, so it's just, it's not conducive to on-camera pouring for me. So currently this is my favorite boxed wine and I could not remember if I've talked about it before, but whatever, I probably have. This is the Maison Kubi wine. This particular blend is Syrah Carignan, I think is how you say it. It's 90% Carignan. I've never heard of that before. I'm sure someone out there can tell me what that is. 10% Syrah and it says it's an intense nose of dark berries, supple palate, and a very good overall balance. This wine will accompany all your meat dishes. Okay. I just think it's delicious. It's really spicy and bold. So I got this at the winery. It was $28.95. There's technically four bottles of wine in here, which if you do the math, that's $7 a bottle, my friends. Can't go wrong. It was a surprise snowstorm today here in New York City. So in honor of that, I have my little snowflake wine glass. Mm, so good. Guys, today I am so excited because I'm going to share with you my top 10 things that will improve your makeup routine. Some of these things are so simple and I don't even think twice about them anymore, but I realize that a lot of people maybe don't know about them and I think it's time you know. And if you already do the things I'm talking about, well then good for you. You can give yourself a big old pat on the back. It's an ego boost video. So some of these things are pre-makeup. They're things you can do before bed or in the morning that is just going to amp up your makeup routine and make it that much easier. First thing I reach for every single damn morning are my Lumify eye drops. This is something that was introduced to me by Penn Smith Skincare and I honestly don't know what I do without these. Not gonna lie, they're a little bit expensive for an eye drop. I've tried to go without them and see how I did and I come back to them every single time because the magical thing about this product is it whitens the whites of your eyes and also your waterline. I can't tell you how many mornings I've woken up, I haven't gotten enough sleep, and my eyes just look tired and they're red rimmed, which is just, it's not a cute look. This immediately, within the blink of an eye, takes care of all of that. Another person who swears by this product is Sarah of Better Off Red. There's two different sizes. There's a small bottle and a big bottle. This is the big bottle. Get the big bottle. I promise you it's worth it. You know, it didn't really occur to me how important the whites of my eyes are until I started using this, and I'm like, oh my god, it makes such a difference, especially when I'm filming or on camera. It makes your eyes look clear, healthy, bigger, all the things. So I actually learned this next tip from a subscriber and I want to thank that person. I'm so sorry I don't remember your name, but you changed the way that I use hyaluronic acid. You should be using your hyaluronic acid over damp, warm skin. Otherwise, it's not doing what you need it to do and it's not living up to its fullest potential. The hyaluronic acid is going to be received by the skin that much better if your skin is warm and damp and it's also going to retain whatever is already on your face. Honestly, ever since I learned that, tip, I feel like my skincare routine improved so much. What I like to do before I get out of the shower is grab that hyaluronic acid and put it on right away. This is like maybe even before you grab your towel. Maybe you grab your towel, then your hyaluronic acid. I don't know what you want to do, but slap it on your face right away because it is going to make a huge difference. And if you need a suggestion for hyaluronic acid, my favorite right now is the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and it retails for six dollars. They say to apply a few drops in the morning and at night. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is six dollars and I'm just slathering that shit on my skin. Number three, I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again, lash serum. Guys, I wish I could say I had naturally long amazing lashes, but I don't. They look this way because I use a lash serum. My favorite lash serum is the New Lash Lash Serum. I use it twice a day and I cannot tell you what a huge Huge difference it's made in my lashes. This is so quick and simple. All it takes is a little boop, boop, like a teeny tiny thin strip of this over your lashes night and day. Any mascara you use is gonna look pretty damn good because you've already done the work beforehand. You guys know I don't really love false lashes. I can't wear them for longer than a couple hours. I just want to rip them off my eyes. So this is a godsend. It makes it so that I kind of feel like I don't ever have to wear false lashes. Also, I love New Lash because they are great to my subscribers and I do have a code for you guys. I will list it down below in the description box. The code is K 
Pete's great discount and it is going to get you 15% off your entire Skin Research Labs order. Skin Research Labs is the company that makes new lash and new brow. Okay, number four is lip scrub. Lip scrub, I feel like is one of those things that sounds so extra, right? It's like, okay, do I really need a scrub for my lips? I mean, yes, you do because I don't wanna see those crusty raisin lips hanging off your face. Again, another product that I feel like you don't know what you're missing until you try it and you're like, oh my God, I have fuller lips, I have bigger lips, I have softer lips. All of my lip products are easier to apply, especially if you're going to apply any matte lip product. What, what, what are you doing if you are not using a lip scrub beforehand? I do feel like a little bit of a lip scrub connoisseur, I must say, because I've tried quite a few, but nothing impresses me more than this. I keep going back to it. It is my MAC Lip Scrubtious in the flavor Sweet Vanilla. So when you use this, you want to make sure you not only get your lip, but like the really important part is getting the outside of your lip where it fades into your skin. You want to get off like any crusties and just make it seamless. I like the Sweet Vanilla because because I believe it's the only completely clear shade. The rest of them have a tint to it. And when I use the ones that are tinted, when I go around my lip line, I feel like I kind of have like a child's popsicle rim around my lip and it's not cute. Again, something that's super quick and easy. It's also delicious and it's going to make your makeup routine that much easier. Story time. So the other day I was at the restaurant and I saw this woman start to go in and she looked like someone really important. She was talking to the maitre d' and I heard her request a table that was out of the way and very quiet so that no one would see them. I was trying to figure out who this person was, right? Like I couldn't tell because I could only see the back of her head. She goes into the restaurant. I turned to the hostess who had seen her as well. Now it should be stated that this hostess is very sweet, but she's but a child. She's 20 years old and I should have known better, but I turned to her and I was like, who was that? I couldn't see her face. She says to me, oh, I don't know. She's like some model from the nineties or something. You want to know who it was? It was Cindy Crawford, some model from the nineties or something. And this leads to my next point. Now, this is not the first time this has happened. I have experienced this with many, many people of a certain generation. I'm just going to say it's generation Z. It's not everyone. So calm down. I am starting to get very, very nervous for the world. People don't know who people are anymore. I'm really scared if you don't know who Cindy Crawford is. And I know that that sounds really dumb and really vapid, but I don't care. Like that is a really intense measuring stick. Same thing, a couple of weeks ago, Uma Thurman came in and no one at the desk knew who she was. You have to know a little bit more history than what's been on Netflix in the last month. You know what I mean? Like we just need to like dig in there and like know a few more things. Might get some thumbs downs on this one, but if you're the one thumbs downsing it, I think I know who needs to study up. Thanks for letting me talk about that, guys. Number five on our list is an eyelash curler. Again, this seems very simple, but I have learned over the years through doing makeup freelance how many women are terrified of using an eyelash curler and therefore have never learned how. You don't need to learn how to use one, but your lashes are going to look bang and if you do. I think I always assume that people know how to use them because I I've just always used one. And then what will happen is I'll be, you know, doing someone's makeup in a session and I'll be like, do you want to go ahead and curl your eyelashes for me? Because if I do it, inevitably, I will just clamp their lid down in this. And everyone always acts like too cool for school. And they're like, yeah, sure. And I watch them try to use this thing that they've clearly never used a day in their life. And it is painful to watch. It takes 10 seconds and it makes a huge difference. Case in point, my friend Heather, one day she decided to try it. And I remember she texted me and she's like, oh, Oh my God, I just curled my eyelashes. What have I been doing this entire time? They look incredible. Curl your lashes, it makes a difference. Number six, wet your beauty blender. I know this seems obvious to people, but I cannot tell you how many friends and subscribers of my channel have told me they had no idea that they were meant to wet their beauty blender. This is a beauty blender that's never been wet. It's tiny. This is what your beauty blender should look like because it's damp. Don't be over there using your tiny ass rock hard beauty blender that you haven't dampened yet. Again, we're getting back to dampness. We kind of covered that with the hyaluronic acid. It's magical. It helps blend product in seamlessly. That brings us to number seven, setting your under eye with a beauty blender. Your under eye is the most important thing to set with powder on your entire face. One of the number one questions I get asked is, why am I getting raccoon eye? Why is my mascara transferring under my eye? Kate, what do I do? Start setting your under eye with your favorite powder and your damp beauty blender. Reason 
reason being the shape of this is perfect for the under eye. This pointed end helps you just place that powder perfectly right up to your tear duct and it helps you get right underneath those lashes so that powder is going to prevent the transfer of mascara. I actually learned that technique from Allie Glines and I've never looked back. It's just never done me wrong. You can't see me but I'm pouring wine out of a box right now. Moving on to number eight, double blush. You guys know how I feel about blush. I am a blush fanatic. I have talked about this since day one on YouTube. I feel like this is the perfect blush technique. I don't think I learned this from anyone. I think I just, I mean, I don't want to like toot my own horn, but I like came up with it on my own. So this is the way to ensure that your blush stays all day long. Your blush is the first thing to fade. People are like, Kate, why is that? I'm not a scientist. I don't freaking know. It just is. Super simple. After I blend in my foundation, I go in with a cream blush. This happens to be my tried and true favorite, which is of course the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Storm. I usually apply that with my finger, just super quick and simple. Then I set my face with powder and I go in with a powder blush after that. It really seals the deal. It makes your blush last all day long. You don't want to like be walking to the bathroom on a Friday night after you did your makeup five hours ago and you look like you just walked out of a crypt. You don't want that. You want to be like, damn, I sure I'm glad I did that double blush that Kate the Great talked about. Number nine is setting spray. Setting spray is something that I kind of off and on forget to do. But when I do it, I feel like it does two things. One, it helps my makeup stay, of course. Two, it really does drive home a really fresh, dewy look. Right now, I'm really loving this Smashbox setting spray. It's the Photo Finish Centering Citrus Primer Water. This hydrating three-in-one face primer preps, sets, and refreshes both your makeup and your mood with centering citrus, silicone, alcohol, and oil-free. Actually, I'm kind of realizing that the underlying theme of this video is the magic of water. Water is magic. Also, when you set your face, it helps melt your makeup in and make it look even more natural. Like I like to set my face and then go over my highlighter with my beauty blender and it just makes it look perfect. Like it's, you know, coming out of my skin and not just some powder that I threw on my face and called it a day. Guys, I'm so excited to share number 10 with you because it's just a straight up product. It's a foundation. It is the Bite Changemaker Supercharged my seller foundation. I love Bite. I love their brand. I knew they were going to be doing something really different with their brand and they did not disappoint. So the box says it's the skin-like finish you crave, the clean formula you deserve with medium coverage. This to me is Goldilocks. This is just like a step up from tinted moisturizer, which as you guys know is basically my favorite foundation to wear because it looks like skin. This went on like a damn dream. They have 32 shades. I really nailed it with picking my shade because it's literally the shade of my skin. My particular shade is L15 because I'm pasty as hell. You guys can see what a flawless finish this is. I blended this in with my beauty blender and I feel like it took me like 20 seconds and I was done. It lets my skin shine through. It looks like skin. It's fresh and dewy. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. So I'm reading this from the Sephora website. It says that Bite Beauty uses antioxidant-rich superfood maki berry. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly and gentle micellar technology that works with and feels good on your skin even if you're sensitive. Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation, good job! Okay guys, so that wraps up my list of top 10 things that will improve your makeup routine. If you guys are digging on my content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, like and share, and click that little bell right beneath the video. That is going to alert you anytime I drop a new video. Mmm, yeah.